So let's talk about that age-old question. How long will it take for me to prep? That question sounds to me like, how long will it take for me to reach the top of Mount Everest? Well, the answer can range from anywhere from two hours to roughly two to six months, depending on your mode of transportation. If you have a helicopter, you can obviously reach the summit in around four hours. And if you're a typical climber, it will take you around two months. If you're a novice, a six month training could be a solid time. So there are so many variables when it comes to pursuing a challenge like this. Like, where are you currently located? Are you currently living in China or are you traveling from Europe? Your level of expertise when it comes to climbing a mountain, your physical fitness, your financial levels. Imagine if the standard answer to this question, how long will it take for me to climb Mount Everest, had a generic reply like, like a month. Well, without all of this context, this question makes absolutely no sense. So why is that students judge them? Themselves based on other people's timelines. Well, before you ask this question, ask yourself, what is your current level as a student? How are your current study habits? Are you already at the top 1% of your class? Which speciality are you trying to pursue? So basically someone looking to match into a less competitive speciality like family medicine does not need a 250 plus. They can do fine with a 230 plus two. Of course, better scores help, but they do come at the cost of time, which could be better spent doing other things like research or US clinical experience to make your CV well-rounded, which is why it's important not to judge yourself or judge other people when they take extra time to study for this exam. More study time does not mean better scores, but at least studying for the right amount of time can mean a personal best.